Hello everyone, I'm Wendell Jones and welcome to this edition of our program, The Platform. Uh, we examine some issues on this platform every weekend uh, with my good friend Bianca Nygaard. Uh, good to see you. So good to be here. Uh, very good. And um, we are going to have a conversation today uh, on what we are calling a 90-day transformation. Uh, transformation uh, developers, 90-day transformation developers. And our guests on the show are two people who've been here before, right? Yes, yes we have. have. Yes, Diane Gibson and Faisal Hall. That's me. Uh, you are all in the business of causing people to transform themselves. Yep, to bring are. out the best in people, eh? To bring yep. out the best. Very good. So tell us, uh, Diane, um, how you, uh, you got in the business and, and what you do particularly. Sure. Um, my path is a pretty long one, so I'm going to really shorten it and condense it. But I have a background in dance, in theater and dance. Okay. And when you're in the industry of dance, obviously you're tied into your body. Your body is your tool. So um, I've always had this very kind of conscious awareness about weight. Um, and it's been something that... Um, sometimes developed unhealthy behaviors and habits in my past. And so growing into adulthood and recognizing what some of the young girls do to lose weight, um, it got me thinking and realizing, well, there's a better way. There's a better way for the, the girls in the fitness industry, modeling industry, dance industries, and stuff like that to tie mm. into self-esteem, self-worth, but also um, look good, but live a healthier lifestyle while doing it. So you used to be a dance instructor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why you yeah. stop? <laughs> well, I still do it on the side, okay. <laughs> but not full time because 90 day has me really locked in. All right, so yeah. what is the, the 90 day transformation about? Well, we've developed a complete weight loss system where um, most of the time you get one component here and one component there. You sign up for a gym, for example, and you get fitness classes or maybe personal training. And then you may need nutrition coaching and you have to go to a nutrition coach or nutritionist. And then um, digging even deeper, what we realized is um, there are some key behavior issues and psychological issues and reasons why we hold on to weight. And so then you would need to look for a behavior coach or a counselor or someone to help address those issues. Um, so we've created a location where everything comes under one umbrella, where mm. we can treat the whole person. So it's not just the physical, it's not just the exercise, um, it's not just the food, but we start to dig into the layers of the onion and to find out, well, what happened? Where did we um, create this relationship with food that has caused us um, to really live unhealthy behaviors? For some of us, the behaviors come from, well, they can be cultural. Um, the types of foods we eat as Bahamians. Uh, we tend to like to celebrate with foods. We use food for emotional fulfillment. We celebrate when we're depressed, we go to foods. Um, and there's even some deeper reasons why a lot of times we turn to food. Um, another thing that is also addressed is um, food and cravings. A lot of times we're told that, oh, um, just eat from this meal plan and you're going to lose weight. And we all know that to choose an apple is healthier than to choose a piece of pizza, let's say. But for some reason, we struggle with continually choosing the better choice. We're drawn to this other food. And we feel like we're weak or we lack willpower, that it's something within us that uh, we are failing. And no one ever told us that there are um, physiological reasons why we crave certain foods. Mm. And it's usually a nutrient imbalance. Mm. Um, sometimes it's hormonal. Sometimes it's lack of sleep. Sometimes it's stress. And if no one tells you that and you're not able to identify the things that are causing the cravings, um, cause, causing the draw towards certain food, you tend to repeat these patterns of being motivated, going to the gym, losing weight, getting not so motivated, quitting, gaining the weight back. And we repeat these cycles every January over and over and over and over, and over again okay. throughout okay. our whole life. So, Faisal Hall. Yes, sir. Uh, what is your role in this 90-day transformation? <laughs> well, I'll work you out. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm the physical part of the program. Um, like she said, um, 
oftentimes what ends up happening is that, you know, there's this kind of revolving door in the gym and you see people for a couple of weeks straight, maybe a month or so straight. And then, you know, motivation wanes. And when motivation wanes, they kind of like fall off and you don't see them again. And then the next time you see them again, they're much worse off than, than they were before. So um, we kind of developed this system to um, include quitting as a part of the process. A lot of people don't understand that lack of motivation is a part of the process. Quitting is a part of the process. The whole point to our system, which we do a lot differently, is we incorporate the whole and not just a part of it, even quitting, even stopping. Mm -hmm. So what we developed was a, a com complete transformational system that starts internally because what you see, the reflection of the scale, is just a matter of what's happening on the inside of you. Yeah. We address those issues on the inside of you, all those things that are going on. We address those things more than we do the exercise. We love the exercise, don't get me wrong. That's what I do, that's what I love, that's my passion. But the bottom line is, there is much, much more to it than just pulling weights. Yes, before Bianca comes in, what do you mean? You, you're not a medical doctor. No, I'm so, not. So what do you mean you, you address things that are inside you? Well, we have something called a nutritional meeting, which is a support group, where you just sit down and you talk to people like you, people that are basically in this same, uh, the same motivation, the same, you're gonna see your height, you're gonna see your weight, you're gonna see people that are just like you. And when you are able to sit in a group setting and you share and you are able to, to, to talk to somebody, like I said, a lot of it isn't just the weight. The weight is just a reflection. When you get a chance to just sit down and talk, it may be simple as just somebody asking you, how was your week? How are you doing? You know, a lot of us, that we internalize things, and the way we internalize it is we start eating. So we made a system to where an actual support group, a group meeting, is a part of our system. You actually sit down and you talk to somebody. Mm. Mr. Jones, uh, you see how they have added on this 90-day uh, transformation developers. And I was just thinking about what a nice name that is for you both, because they've been at it for a long time, the 90-day transformation had started, and I've actually witnessed that they've gone back and seen where the program has failed and tweaked it a bit and offered some more classes or like this um, eating, uh, a meeting to just be able to sit and have this meeting and talk with other people that are going through the same thing. And I saw that you incorporated a chef at one point mm -hmm. to um, healthy to cooking classes. Yeah, we have the healthy yeah. cooking classes. Yeah, if I could just break down the system real briefly. Um, every single person that comes um, that's interested in weight loss with us, whether it's um, they're just interested in our seven day detox or they want to do a fitness program, um, they, they want to um, do the laser lipo treatments that we had talked about, I think, the last time that we were here. Everybody that comes through our door gets a complete consultation. They sit down, they have to talk with us. Uh, we take their weight, their measurement, their body fat percentage reading, we get some statistics, we talk about where they are on the obesity spectrum because we know that the country is in a crisis at the sixth highest obesity rate in the world. Um, and then we talk to them about their lifestyle, what they've done before, how they feel, and we get to know that client. Um, by getting to know that person, we're able to pinpoint which components of the program is going to fit their lifestyle the best. We may have people that can't come to early morning workouts. Um, we've developed the system in a way that even if they can't, they can still be successful. We can do evening workouts. We can do online workouts now. Um, we can communicate via WhatsApp. Even if they travel, they can stay on the program online. So we've tweaked that part of it. After the consultation, we sit down with them, we give them a few options as far as their plan. We encourage all of our clients to start off with a seven day clean eating detox. And our detox is not a starve and drink tea detox. You're going to eat, but you're going to eat very, very clean for seven days. No sugars, no chemicals or prepackaged foods. Um, the majority of the foods are green leafy vegetables, no starchy foods, no milks. Um, limited fruits and some lean protein. Um, we do this for the seven days to get some of those chemicals and things out of the system. During the time of the detox, we also um, encourage them to come in as much as they can and use the infrared sauna 
to help the detox process. And it's really hard, day two and three of a detox, because as the, the chemicals, the caffeine, the sugar starts to come out of the body, um, you go through physical and psychological withdrawals. So you get very cranky. Um, you get lethargic and sleepy. Um, you get shaky sometimes or headaches. And so we have to coach them through the process that this is actually part of the detox process. A lot of times people say, oh, I'm not feeling well, so I had to go back and eat. No, 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 it's part of the process. You come in, you use the sauna, you drink the alkaline water, we coach you through it. And if you can make it through those two or three really tough detox days, by the end of the week, what has happened is your cravings for sugary and salty foods start to subside because you've gotten rid of that, the chemical foods. And then now it's easier to move forward in the program with the healthy eating list and the meal plan that we have for you. Then you jump into what we call the core of the program, which is the workouts and also the weight loss club meetings that we do every Saturday. You, 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 you make it sound, sound complicated. <laughs> it's really, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, not complicated. Why, 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 if you want to lose weight, mm -hmm. shouldn't you just exercise and watch what you eat? But if it were uh, that simple, uh, wouldn't we all be slim? No, no, it, no if, you, if you exercise, cut down um, your portions, get rid of the starches and the sugar, wouldn't you lose weight? You would lose weight. The process or the... So why do I have to go through this the, detoxification? The physical mm -hmm. process of losing weight is actually quite simple, the science of it. Yes. It's calories in and calories out. Right. Where it becomes difficult is the psychological and the physiological. It's the internal, and that's why we go back to the behavior coaching and the group meetings and the weight loss club. And if I might add, if you've been on the typical Bahamian diet for the past 10, 20, 30 years, you have been consuming a regular diet of sugar, fat, and salt. Those things are not designed to just let you go one day. You, have, you create an addiction for those substances in your body. So it's not as simple as just, hey, I'm gonna stop eating. I'm gonna stop eating sugar, fat, and salt. I'm gonna stop eating the typical Bahamian diet. I'm gonna stop eating peas and rice and all those things. It isn't just that simple. A lot of people are literally physically addicted to these things. But there are some people who can stop. Yes, there, there are some people who can stop. Just give up on, mm -hmm. on, on yes. there are. Yeah, carbohydrates there are. and mm -hmm. just stop. But sadly, there are people who are um, in a morbid obesity range, not yes. obesity one, two, or three, knowing that they are going to die from obesity-related illnesses and they are still unable to change their Behavior, eating habits, lifestyle. even though they know that they are going to die. That's how strong the addictions can and be. And these obesity-related deaths are found in what? Uh, diabetes, hypertension? Yep, hypertension. Mainly. Mostly yes. in this country, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Heart disease and diabetes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jones, it's just so nice that they would have a support group available to you if you weren't able to just quit on your own. And every time that we have any guests on the show that's talking about health, these are the things that they say. Mm -hmm. They say yeah. that you have to exercise, you have to eat a mm -hmm. healthy diet that excludes all of the foods yeah. that we've been brought up to eat. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's our life, really. It's yeah. everybody's life. And it's just showing people how to, we know the steps on paper, but how to actually make it work in your real life. When you show up at work and everyone's eating peas and rice and they're offering you Dunkin' Donuts in the morning and how to actually change your behavior so you're able to battle that moment. Um, when you travel or go to a wedding or wherever it is, how you can battle each of these moments to still enjoy food, um, but to be able to gain the power back where the food is not controlling you any longer, you are controlling the food. We've actually opened the weight loss club up to the public, so it's not only open to our clients anymore. Um, other trainers' clients, people that go to other gyms, people that work out on their own, um, can come and join the weight loss club on the weekends just for 
the support and then the tools we offer, like you, he did mention, we do have cooking classes, um, we do the vision board party once a year, um, and we try to give real tools for people to manage so that they can put these things that are on paper that look so easy, they can actually put them into effect in their real life. So as a whole, you put people through the rigors of a 90-day um, workout. Workout. <laughs> yes, I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, 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 uh, you, you try to kill people. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, everything is a crawl, walk, and then we run. So the bottom line is, I'll never just take you out there on your first day and say go run five miles. No, we we slowly. Can you run five miles? Oh yeah, easy. <laughs> okay. I do all the time. Okay. <laughs> but the bottom line is, um, we, you know, uh, everything that we do, we, we slowly bring you into this because we know, you know, you didn't, this didn't happen overnight. And it's not going to change overnight. But we take these small steps, just like a rudder on a ship. We make the small little turns on that rudder, and that big ship will turn from these little small changes that you make. And that's what we do. Institute these small changes, and hopefully they ad end up adding into something big. Now, uh, we're going to take a break, but you have to tell people how they can get involved in this 90-day challenge and Definitely. where they can find you. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. okay. Now? <laughs> now, yes. Okay, all right. You can, uh, we are in the Saunders Beach Plaza. We are at, uh, upstairs next to the Bliss Studio. We are at 677-1689, and you can reach us on Facebook, 90 Day Transformation 242, or you can reach us on in Instagram, 90 Day 242, and, or you can reach us by cell phone at 467-9630. Now, by giving out all those numbers, you just bought an ad. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, there you go. And the fabulous thing, Mr. Jones, is they've had some real wonderful results. Yeah, we've had some great results. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, we have to take a break. Uh, this is our program, The Platform. We'll come back.